Morning, yes. Monday, Monday. Da, da. I love that song. Um, yes, it is. Um, another quick video on the back once again of the murder of David Amos. Uh, the newspapers and certain sections of the media that I've been listening to for the last half hour are wanting very much to uh, sort of link a number of things together. Uh, the prime suspect in the case uh, the newspapers are reporting was radicalised by Anjem Chowdhury. Yes, who's uh, uh, one of those brilliant uh, go-to hate figures. What's he got going for him? He hasn't got hooks. Yeah. That's a good marketing ploy, not having hooks, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, a number of newspapers, for as far as I can make out, no reason whatsoever have made a link between uh, his stuff online and a murdered MP. Um, this, interestingly, juxtapos juxtaposes itself neatly, or joins together, I should say, neatly, realistically, with news that Dominic Raab is pushing ahead with his... Uh, 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 legislation on the Human Rights Act. And uh, just a quote from the Indy, legal experts have responded with alarm to suggestions from Justice Secretary Dominic Raab that he will legislate to, quote, correct, unquote, court judgments in human rights cases that go against the government. Yes. And of course, uh, it's people with hooks and that make videos and that we have a copy of the Quran that is going to be used as the primary reason why the government should legislate against the European Court of Human Rights, effectively. Um, I, I, I mean, there is a strand of logic that goes through this in the sense that, um, yes, uh, the European Court of Human Rights is a supranational, supranational body uh, which legislates uh, above governments, and, th and this is very true, and you might argue that they shouldn't. But the problem therein lies that if we make Euro, um, if we make a European legislation uh, 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 a stop at 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 uh, uh, British courts, then the government will have to accept the decisions of British courts, which effectively are going to be the same as the uh, European Court of Human Rights. There are very few cases when it's not. So. Logically, does that mean, therefore, that Dominic Raab will introduce legislation to make sure that uh, the uh, senior British courts are basically answerable to Parliament? Now, now that's the the issue here that really hangs in the air. This is, from a from a very cynical viewpoint, this is a power grab by the government. Um, they very much didn't like uh, your um, British courts uh, ruling about aspects of Brexit. The whole saboteurs and traitors headlines in the Daily Mail were uh, indicative of that. European uh, European courts are just seen as, as 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 an adjunct to these these lefty lawyers who are dictating to us. Um, it's a very very dodgy position because um, you have to say to yourself: Should the government be above the law? Now the government can make the law. No, nobody disputes that. That's the primary thing they do: is legislate. But the moment they start to say that they need to basically be in charge of the law, that should really set alarm bells ringing. The Indy is right on that. But it'll be presented, yes, that we must get rid of somebody that's already been in jail, already been convicted for crimes in this country. I don't know. Bring back firing squads. I suppose that's the next step. That way we, he, um, I, I don't know, firing squads and delete his, me um, his legacy media. Perhaps that's it. We'll see. Anyway, that's Monday. I've got I've got to get my booster. Covid jab today. That'll be cool, won't it? I'll presumably become a lot more magnetic or something afterwards. Mm. Have a lovely day.